so guys you can see on the left side we have the terminal on the right i have my cell phone i just write something i write off i write this and press send see now it's received on the left side i write on and send now wait sending see it's received i write anything i want anything it may be a big sms as well it doesn't matter the command we have used has made the sim 800 l module to go in standby mode it is just waiting for the sms to re to be received whatever is received is displayed over there so what i should tell you is that this is the command over here this command 80 plus cnmi and the settings are 12000 it will set your module in such a mo mode that as soon as an sms is received it will be read at the first like this see so hello guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i'm gonna show you how we can use a sim 800l module with a usb to teach it device in this lecture as you saw in my previous lecture in the same series you saw that i show you a technique by which you can play with the inbox of your sim card using several commands but in this video i'm going to show you how you can use the sim 800l module to uh, simply receive the sms now the challenge was that how we will know the latest sms has received we cannot get the index of the latest sms without knowing the sim is entered into a phone or either you have to clear the memory to get the to the latest sms whatever you do that's a challenge so now, so now to overcome that challenge there is another command which will allow us to directly like uh, get to the latest sms as soon as the latest sms arrives it will be received and will be displayed so i'm going to show you how to do that using this using a pc or a laptop we will be using a serial terminal so let's get started so guys first let's me show you how you connect this with the usb to tgl device for that this over here is our sim 800l module and this is the bottom view right is a top view now as you can see you can see a lot of pins here but the good thing is we only need few to send and receive an sms now for that uh, on the right side leave the antenna pin the top one is the antenna then you have vcc reset rx tx and ground rx tx and ground these pins show that this is a uart based protocol so if you want to interface this with a microcontroller or a computer or whatever you prefer you will need a uart port on the receiving device now rest of the pins are not required for sending and receiving an sms now the next thing is this is your sim card you will insert it here in this uh, uh, aluminium or whatever silver color package you will flip it the other side and then you will insert it now okay i have to delete this okay now let me show you how to do the connection so this is our usb to ttl device this over here is a sim 800l module and uh, uh, it's the bottom view now let me relabel that usb to ttl device for you the top one is the pin is the 5 volt vcc 3.3 volt tx rx and ground pin now guys as you know we only need tx rx and ground pins here now the good thing is whichever usb to ttl device you use tx rx and ground pins are in all of them the rest of these pins 3.3 volt vcc 5 volt they differ in some you don't have 3.3 volt in some you don't have 5 volt in some you don't have vcc etc so but these three pings tx rx and ground in all the usb to ttl devices ft232 ch340 cp2102 or whatever you prefer now guys let me re-label the sim 800l module for you as well the pin second from the top on the right side is the vcc reset T, rx tx and ground now the thing is you cannot uh, like power up the sim 800l module using a microcontroller or your uh, usb to ttl device because because in once we are in full functionality sim 800l module will draw a lot of power it may go up to 2 ampere so you have to make sure that it is connected through a, a power it's powered up using a, some power source which can provide 2 ampere and the voltage of its operation is 3.7 to 4.4 volt these seems odd like it seems a very odd value but the good thing is every lipo battery every 1865 cell you find in the market the uh, rechargeable cells the lipo battery they come in 3.7 volt even your mobile battery is basically 3.7 volt so that is basically designed in such a way that you can just power it up using a mobile battery if you have a mobile battery or a lipo battery whatever you have that's always a 3.7 volt cell so you just use that to power up the sim 800l module so let me show you how to do that so you have one positive and one negative terminal you may also use a dc power source as well a dc power supply as well whatever you have but you have to make sure that the voltage do not exceed 4.4 volt and the current is, is supported up to 2 ampere 
Now, the first thing is to connect the VCC pin of your SIM 800L module with the positive end of the power so source like this. Now guys, for the ground of the SIM 800L module connected to the ground of the USB to TTL device like this. And you also common this ground to the negative of the battery like this. In this way, your grounds are connected. Now, the thing is you will not connect this positive of the battery to the USB to TTL device because once we connect this USB to TTL device into the computer, computer will automatically power it up. So that's okay. Now reset pin will not be required. Now the RX pin, RX pin is of great importance. Now the problem is our most of the microcontrollers like PIC16 F877A operate at 5 volt logic level while the SIM 800L module is designed to operate at 3.3 volt logic level. So if you give it the 5 volt, uh, 5 volt logic level from the UART port, it is heavy possibility that your RX pin will go uh, like it will burn. So your SIM 800L module will be wasted. So you have to make sure that the 5 volt uh, uh, controllers, 5 volt microcontroller like 80 mega 328p on the Arduino Uno or a PIC16 F877A, you use either a voltage divider to convert the logic to 3.3 volt or you use a logic level IC, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna use the logic, uh, voltage divider over here. So I have, I'm gonna use a two resistor, 10K and a 20K. You can use the other combinations as well, depending upon the formula you are using for the voltage divider. So a 10K resistor and a 20K resistor will be needed. So you connect the one end of the 20K resistor to the ground like this, and you connect the one end of the 10K resistor to the RX pin of your SIM 800L module like this. Now guys, from the other end of the 10K resistor connected to the 20K ohm resistors other pin like this. Now from the same point, you will take out your output and that is that will go to the TX pin of your USB TTL device. But in case the microcontroller or the USB TTL device you are using supports the 3.3 volt logic directly, then they, that's not an issue. You just connect the TX pin to the RX like you have Arduino TU or a PIC32, they all operate at 3.3 volt. So there is no issue in that. You just connect the RX pin to the TX pin directly. You will not need the voltage divider. Only for those microcontrollers or devices which operate at 5 volt, you have to do the logic conversion. Now for the RX pin, TX pin of the same 800L module, you do not need any voltage divider because now you are sending the data. And the PIC16 F877A, Arduino Uno, and this USB to TTL device, they easily support 3.3 volt logic as well. So you just directly connect the TX pin to the RX like this. In this way, our connections are completed. Now let me show you the hardware before we move on to the serial terminal. So guys, this over here is our hardware. This is our SIM 800L module, you can see that. This is the antenna I'm using. It came with the module, I just connected it uh, using the IPAX header. It had an IPAX header, you can see. If you don't have this, you have a spring type antenna, just sold it. And uh, you can see there is a SIM uh, USB TTL device. Connections are as shown in the presentation. I'm using CP2102. You can use FT232, CH3440, whatever is preferred. Then connect it into the computer, simple as that. And for the power source, I have over here, is a, a 4.3 volt, uh, that is a DC power source I'm gonna use. You may use the battery or whatever you prefer, but the voltage must be 3.7 to 4 volt and the current should be two ampere. So simple. Now this was uh, our hardware. Now, as for the serial terminal, I have been using like micro C serial terminal, but I have found some better option. You just go to your Google and write down here, online serial terminal. You just write this here and press enter. And the faster serial terminal, this serial terminal.com, it's a free online serial terminal, works on your browser. You just open it, it will make your life go way easier as compared to in the past. Now, this is one of the best thing I have seen uh, in the recent time that has happened to me that we have got this new option. Now guys, let me, let's start doing the work. Click on connect and here it will give you the COM options. Now you have to select the COM you're gonna use, uh, whichever COM you have connected your module to my in my case once you install the driver of your uh, this device uh, it automatically assigns a com to it in my case the com is uh, this one com 9 and cp2102 usb2 uart bridge controller click on connect here you go it is connected now first of all i write here the command called at this will make sure that if your sim 800 l module is working or not write at and press enter okay it's it returns okay that's fine now i write ati now it's okay, we got our uh, version. Now I write another command called AT plus COPS question mark. It will make sure that my SIM is working or not. Here you go, okay, there the name. If it's not working correctly, you will not see any name here. 
now it is perfect now the next thing the important thing we have to do is that we have to bring our module into a mode called text mode by default your uh, sim 800 module is in the pdu mode to use it you have to bring it into the text mode for that write down this command 80 plus cmgf equals to 1 this command makes sure that your sim 800 l module will respond your messages in a human readable form that is ascii press enter here you go now it is it responds okay so it's perfect now the command we are going to use here to read sms is this is an important command 80 plus cnmi 80 plus cnmi now this is also a very complicated command if you go to the data sheet you will get puzzled so just do what i am doing write down 1 comma 2 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 now these parameters make sure that the data you are reading is in what format in my case i have set it in such a way that once you enter this command as soon as an sms is received it will display it that's what we want as soon as a sms is received it is one of the most useful command which we will be using once we start programming it with a microcontroller so 80 plus cnmi is the syntax equal to is just a sign and 12000 they are mentioned in the data sheet and each of these character have their uh, definition but to just what we need hobbyist need what our, our requirement is that we need that as soon as the sms comes the module should respond the sms to the microcontroller or to the computer so this is what you have to do one two zero 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 press enter here you go okay now whatever the sms i send that sms will automatically be displayed here i don't have to write anything now it is in the mode of receiving the sms now let me show you how to do that so guys i just set up the screen so you can see on the left side this is over here is the serial terminal and on the right side i am holding my phone so this is the number i have inside it over here you can see now i write an sms whatever the sms i write should appear over there as per our expectations so there is a terminal so i write something here i write learn learn mcu okay that is what i have written now i send it okay it sent wait okay see on the left side you can see that we have received what we have sent you can see this over here this learn mcu see that this learn mcu and then it is also showing the number that it has come through this number and this is the date and time and this is how a message will appear now as soon as the message is sent you will receive this in this format i send something else i send electronic like this and I send it wait for it to be sent see we received the other SMS as well now you can write a big SMS as well doesn't matter you can write anything you prefer just write as much as you can it's just like a normal SMS if it is too big it will appear in two parts so just write anything you prefer like this I send it now let's wait see we have received the whole text whatever it was see it's received over here you can see that it doesn't matter how long it is now if you are controlling a motor or something i may send on i send on see as soon as it is sent you receive a corresponding sms over there so guys this is how because sing signal strength is low at my place so it is it may cause troubles but it is going to work in this way so guys this is it this is how you use this command this is 80 plus c and mi very important command for hobbyists who, who are going to use the same 800 l module it have huge industrial applications so you may use it as you like so guys this is it this is it for this lecture if you have any questions you may ask so we'll see you in the next lecture goodbye until then